Hey guys, it's Elio, and in the previous video, I showed you how to set yourself up to hit a good defensive ball when moving backwards. Now we're gonna to look to stay aggressive. It's a more aggressive strategy going forwards. This strategy really helps you hold your ground in the point. So what the opponent can't do is push you back where you're on your back foot as much, and then open up the court further. The further back you are, the more you get opened off to the sides, the more you see an angle shot to you. So now, Pretty simple with the footwork in the idea, but very hard to execute, especially if you're just a beginner or an intermediate player. So as the ball comes deep, you've got to choose what are your contact points, okay? Well, anywhere between my knee, really in about my shoulder, even up to my head is really comfortable, okay? This is the comfortable zone to hit. So when you're moving forward to the board, you've got to, to the ball, sorry, you've got to put yourself in a comfortable position and set your feet where that contact's gonna occur, where the ball's gonna actually end up. So you gotta anticipate very well where the ball's gonna go. Now, why you gotta do this very well, and this is harder to do than the shot, is because you got less time. The ball's coming up on the rise. As it's still rising off the bounce, now you're trying to move forwards and take it. So you gotta be really fast with your feet and getting that ball early to control the ball, okay? Do this wrong, you'll get the ball in the wrong spot. If the feet aren't comfortable, aren't in the right spot, now we're contacting all over the place, we can't expect results. So really think about how do you set up your feet to create a good contact where you're more comfortable, okay? Wherever the height is where you're choosing to hit it, you're comfortable, okay? You're set up in a good zone versus reaching. If you're far away reaching out here, you're not comfortable, you haven't set up correctly. So it's really about the feet. Now as the ball comes to you, you've read it. Let's say it's exactly the same ball I've chosen to go back on, letting it come up and come down for my contact point, same height, right, of the ball. But now I'm gonna go looking to move my feet into the court. And all you're gonna do is as you react, so you see the ball bouncing, you're moving in. So you're, what I've done is I've turned side on, okay? So on the defensive shot, you notice open stance was more useful. Right now, it's really closed stance is more useful because that's gonna help me go more forwards through the ball. This shot, if I was a little wider, I would go open. But in general, when you're moving towards the ball, in this case, on a half volley, close stance is gonna help you a little bit more. So if I'm a righty, left foot simply comes in front a bit more. If I'm a lefty, my right foot simply comes in front a little bit more. So I'm getting down to the ball and I'm controlling it off the rise, okay? Might not necessarily be a winner, it could be, but it's simply a ball you've controlled to hold your court position. You haven't gone back, you've gone forwards. So now, what does it look like? As I move forwards, I'll do one close coming more forwards into the court. I've got to set my feet up, maybe little adjustment steps if I've got the time, and I'm gonna put the ball in a comfortable position. I'm gonna try and hit this ball around hip height. So here we go. Comes up, on the rise, and I'm on my front foot. Now with that ball being thrown, I'm still moving to it. The ball's moving away from me as I throw up myself, but it's the same idea as you get the ball hit to you. You're coming early onto the court and you're taking it on the rise. If I go a little wider, the same idea applies. I'll go open stance to this one, but you're just setting yourself up based on where the ball is, okay? The same concept of hitting on the rise applies. All right, so I'm moving through, I'm loading and I'm hitting as it comes up on the rise. Don't think uh, open stance or close stance is gonna make or break your shot, but it's important based on where you are. What's gonna make or break your shot right here is actually how much you're trying to do with the racket. You've got less time, right, as the ball's bouncing up to you. So you gotta think, do I want a really massive, big backswing, or do I want maybe a smaller backswing, okay? Well, if you think about it, small is gonna be the answer because it saves you time where you can still time the ball out in front where you want. If you go small, you can make sure you can it there. The bigger you go, you better be prepared because it's gonna take more time to get the ball on the rise. So that's the little variation of how to get the ball on the rise. Think how much time do you have, so how big's your swing gonna be, and where am I gonna set myself up with my feet so I can still take it on the rise in a comfortable position. It's gonna really keep you inside the court, it's gonna keep you um, attacking the ball more, and uh, running with less time, and it's gonna be able to create more angle for you so you can move them more around the court if you're in this better court position to be more aggressive. Okay, it's better, but it's also harder. All right, so definitely start with defensive balls, being comfortable with moving backwards. And if you get used to that ball, now you can go forwards and start getting used to attacking. So you've got both of them in your arsenal. You definitely wanna be able to keep the ball in number one. It's no point doing this if that's all you've got and you're missing. So baby step your way into being more aggressive, set up your feet, 
and take the ball early. It's a great strategy and it's helped me win a lot of matches. Good luck.